And we are. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, if you're new to my channel, my name is Linda K. Listening, and this is my partner right here. One right strand. There. One strand in the rav. And hello. We, we do this every week. We usually just talk trash about those one strand. people. Check that out. My video just started. We're on. Stop that sucker off. <laughs> and as you can tell, we are low budget productions here. Okay. One strand, Linda Kay. We are listening. We are. <laughs> well, nice to see you guys. Thank you very much. Hello, Crockett. Hey, everybody. John and JJX and Catnip. Wonderful. I was just telling Linda that if people don't start up, if, if, if people are going to continue to have all these lives and actually invite me, I'm going to have to start going to meetings afterwards because I get it. Getting yeah. Oh my gosh, Carrie. I love you. Hi, honey. Thank you for joining. Jamie, thank you. BB, hello. Hi, Jamie. Go yeah, I'm going to have girl. meetings. I'm so happy to see all uh, you, you know. guys. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm not listening to I'm one sorry. strand on two devices. <laughs> thank you, Carrie. So are you, sweetie. Hope you're having a good Why are you not listening? Jack, come on. It's stereo. <laughs> Dude. Yes, okay. I'm having this. I'm having issues. A little added thing that Carrie gave me is in it. <laughs> so welcome, Carrie, to our, my channel. And I don't know if you know what making a murderer is, but guess what? During this pandemic or political damage or um, social distancing or whatever they're calling it today. Yeah, don't get too close to me. It's a great time to pay attention and read it. Hi, Mose. Or I mean, watch it. Watch that. Netflix documentary. Let's not let the Tiger King beat us as far as number one Netflix show. Come on, guys. I mean, I'm into the Tiger King, but I don't want him to beat us. <laughs> Netflix has been number one for the longest and the the most viewed ever in the history of net Netflix. So, and I refuse to let the world what it might be, can gaming girl. <laughs> for real, it really might be. But hey, everybody take a look. I got my shirt. So I'm an official marathon. Way after one strand who was smarter and got hers delivered faster. But, you know, <laughs> it might be closer to the factory. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, we're here today to just ask, you know, talk. Just talk. We're just talking. Um, we're going to talk about whatever you guys you want to guys want to talk about. You want to ask us some questions, not too personal, because I'm too honest. <laughs> oh, you can have personal questions. I'll answer them. Hey, look, a guy asked me how come his girlfriend left him, and I asked him if he knew how to make a sandwich, and maybe he didn't give it to her enough. So, you know, that was my answer to him. So, yeah. you know, right? I mean, that's who I am. So, Gene and I are watching. Hi, Gene. Love ya. This is my great one strand. T1. She's funny. T1. He's driving. I'm listening. He's copying me. Hi, Mary Mary. Kelly Bell. Um, I'm so glad you guys joined us. I really, really am. Um, but we, we don't have nothing planned today because one strand decided to go get herself a job and be important in life <laughs> other than me. So we didn't have anything planned. Well, we really don't have anything planned ever, do we? No. I mean, no. no. I mean, we I'm, say a name. I'm like one of those fly by the seat of your pants yeah. kind of girl. Yeah. We say a name and we just talk about it. So who would you guys like to talk about or would you like to ask us questions? I mean, we definitely can do that. We're hey, open for that, you know, with Mammothon coming along. Um, I got to tell you, I got a guest list to me that beats yeah. everybody. I am the only person, I am the only person that Eric Cozy's getting that tops everybody's as far as I'm concerned. But I, I have trouble. a great lineup. Yes, I'm to her. <laughs> no. I, I, I got to see this. Yeah. It's not connected to these. Do <laughs> you get them all connected? Well, so... Ripper Jack was on the other day and I kind of yeah. forgot. Um, I asked him if he knew I was going to be on when he was on. Hey. And he had no idea. And of course he told me it wasn't in his contract and he was going to have to renegotiate it. And um, he said, well, Linda told me she had a surprise. I guess I wasn't supposed to tell him. Oops, sorry. I guess, yeah, you spoiled my surprise. 
Yeah. But that's okay. You know that he knows that it's okay. I don't know. I, I'm I'm going to send him a message now and I'm going to tell him that, you know, he really hurt my feelings because we all know I have feelings and I, I'm just, I've decided I'm just going to withdraw. I have to check something. Poor Jerome says he can't post in here and I don't understand why he's trying to watch our live and he can't. So I guess I'm going to have to take it. You keep him talking. I'm going to go over here and check it out. Okay. Okay. I got to let everybody be able to see us, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't think I would have ever, you know, blocked him. I don't know. But Katniss said she was having some issues today, too. So we'll just see what's going on here. Lord. Lord. So Look at, if you can, she is watching um, the chat that is very slow. It happens to belong to StreamYards. And it doesn't work as fast as the normal chat does. So it'll be a little delay for her to see your question. So give her a break. Are you she all she'll break you up. Did you hear that? She just said I'm slow. Not you. The chat. She just said I'm slow. No, oh, well, you know, taking it personally, that's on you. No. <laughs> Some oh. people like slow women. Yes, they do. Uh, they can take advantage of them. <laughs> I'm only Thank kidding. You. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Okay. So I'm only kidding. I am in the middle of watching. I am in the middle of watching Ma'am again. I guess I'm kind of a, a multi-personality person when it goes to watching my mams. I'm watching ma'am. I'm what I watch Tiger King. I'm also watching the staircase. And has anybody else watched the staircase? Because that is kind of, it's it's already like the first episode, and you can already see there's gonna be issues with this case. Because the family's like loving each other right now, and I think they're gonna be like hating each other by the end. So Man, my questions seem to be going like backwards. You've watched it? Yeah. Okay. Is that what's going to be happening? Because like, I'm kind of worried here because this guy seems like he's too nice. Seems like he's mm. too nice. But then I just found out that, of course, he's bisexual. So he's madly in love with his wife. And he's bisexual. And we don't know if she knew. At this point, I don't know if she knew. No spoil. Come on, J. Jax. Is he giving away the, the secret? No, he won't give me any spoilers. I am one of those people that I am online and I am looking for spoilers. Like, I want to know what the shows I watch, who's leaving, and I want to know like three weeks before they find out. I want to know then. I am terrible. Hmm. Well, Jerome, I don't know why you're not getting in. I just checked and you're not blocked or anything like that. So I am so sorry. I do not know. I maybe refresh. You know, the funny thing is, Katni was just having this problem um, today on foul play today. So I don't know if this, maybe YouTube, you know, they're getting a little bit overwhelmed and, you know, the end yeah, is like bad I news. Said, yes. I just many lives and you're making me drink too much. <laughs> Listen, Speaking of um, the staircase, have you seen Innocent Man? No, I have not. I just got done re-watching it again today because they're trying to um, get, I'm not sure if it's um, Tommy or um, I don't recall the other guy's name. I definitely am bad at names. But anyway, they're trying to get him out and get him exonerated. And I just seen that on Twitter. So to me, that's really good. But the staircase girl, oh my gosh. Everybody knows who knows me. If there's an owl, ass and elbow's gone. Sorry, no way. I am a scared to death of owls. So I really do believe that that could happen, okay? Allie goes, why would you run up a stairway? I said, I'd run any fucking direction that there was no owl or trying to get away. Where would you run? I mean, you're not going to run back outside, are you? Picking up chairs like a lion tamer. And I would be lion taming until I got myself into a closet. I, I would be going, ah, oh, running stairs. Sure, I'll be running anywhere there's people. I think she was running up to her husband for cripes sakes. You know, there's a fucking owl. She can't probably can't speak. The fucking wings are going in her face like this. He supposedly was out by the pool. Yeah. Yeah. So he, was, he, he was back in the house after, you know, when she I haven't was gotten that far yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Listen, 
David Rudolph, excellent. That lawyer is, I, I can't spoil it anymore for you. You'll know what I mean when you see the finishing of it. And yes, Sean, the innocent man was so great. You know, I think they're beautiful, Jax, but the, I'm fucking scared to death of them. And now that I've seen the staircase, because in Minneapolis, they closed down some public parks because owls were attacking people. So I do believe that it can happen. And after seeing the staircase, I was like, okay, they're beautiful, but I'm scared shitless. When I was a kid, I used to watch them flying down and getting rabbits across at the field. And I used to cry. So, I like Winnie the Pooh. Mr. They're beautiful. Owl, owl was good on Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. Okay. I do. Owl I owl. Yeah. Okay, and then the, there was the cartoon. Owl. He's a cartoon brainy. Okay, he's right. not a fucking no other thing the going. Licks and cakes to get to the center of a tootsie pop. Yeah, that, he was nice. Okay, well, the wingspan on an owl is as big as I am. Okay, uh, I mean, you know, that's like Linda. Oh. Linda, what? I didn't know that. Uh, well, you want you want to know they're huge. Okay, they're bigger than a, a, a eagle. No, the I don't. Want to know that. Is like this. Take your no, arms. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to know that. Ignorance is bliss. No, ignorance is not against the law. There. I mean, it's not. It's no, you bliss. know, it's bliss. Habit. Uh huh. Sorry, Linda. Love you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Catnip. I just love that. I wish Jerome could join this. I don't this understand. My husband. When we first moved down south, and I was at, I was actually out of the state. I was working. And I get this text message from my husband um, telling me um, he wants to send me a picture and not to freak out. So I said, okay. And no, it wasn't dirty. Get your mind out of the gutter, J-Jax. Um, <laughs> they, um, so he sends me this picture and it's a snake. And he's asking me, is this a copperhead or is this a, co a cotton mouth? And I'm like, um, that's a, a copperhead. Yeah, deadly. Yeah, so it's coiled up in our garage. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> so he takes, I'm like, uh, we have no guns at this point. That's <laughs> South Carolina. And so he grabs a shovel. And beat it. <laughs> he and beat it. Right down the top of his head with a, with a shovel. So guess what I did as soon as I got home? <clears throat> what? Buried it? I took his butt over to Bass Pro Shop and I bought myself a judge. <laughs> I said, hell no, I am not beating a snake with a shovel. If I beat anybody with a shovel, it's going to be him because I don't have guns. <laughs> Let me tell you what, in my garden in Florida, when I lived in Florida, life. we had, uh, you know, I had a garden. I walked around barefoot, you know, because um, when you get a, when you have a home in Florida or down south, you have an exterminator. They come and do your yard. Huh? I mean, they have to. If you don't, then that's when you start seeing the snakes and things for, like that. Uh, well, I didn't know. Snakes. In South Carolina, they do not treat for snakes. Oh, they treat in, in Florida. It's everything. You don't get nothing. If you don't have one, if you miss one month, forget it. Your house is taken over by those palmetto bugs that are this big. Oh, yes. We have cockroaches that are that big and snakes galore and spiders that are as big as your hand. Oh my God, when I seen that spider in my closet and it was looking at me and I could see the hairs on its leg and I was like, oh, I, I froze. Ah. We but have, uh, that, in we my had garden, the, we had the, the spiders. It, uh, timber, this seen a timber spider. You know, timber oh, spiders. We get those, yeah, those in front of our door when we open it. Oh, I don't yeah. like spiders, I run from them, but we had a, a wolf spider that was like this big and it oh. was on the front porch and my husband went to kill it but before I'd even walk in the house. And they carry their babies. So all these thousands of babies went running all over the place and I'm running into the garage getting the home defense and spraying it. I'm like, die, suckers, die! die. <laughs> I really well, was this big. And I'm not lying when I say that spider was as big as my hand. And I want to tell you, I got a big ass hand. It was that big. Look at, I seen it. I was like, oh, it's frozen. I've never seen anything except for on the internet that big. But better than that, I went out to my garage and I'm walking by my little, you know, I had those QP oranges, you know, we had those growing. We had some grapefruit. We had some, you know, um, I don't know, other fruit, uh, papaya, things like that. Anyway, I went to go see if the oranges, because they are not even done until like February or something. They take so long and it's usually the winter they're done, not the summer. It's it's story back there. Anyway, and I see this little snake going and I get down, don't have these on, so I can't see nothing until it's here. I got this stick, and I go like this, 
and my and my boarder says, Miss Linda, you better get away from that. That's a diamond back. And the mama got to be around somewhere. Because I said, what is the thing that goes like this? You know, the little stripes. <laughs> and it was a baby diamond back. And um, they're deadly if they're that small. I'm telling yeah, you. Their, their venom is very, very potent in the babies. Yeah, I was scared. But I was barefoot, too. I never even thought about it, you know, because... I, but I didn't know that the exterminator ain't had been there either. Because if you miss, uh, you know, like four days, five days, don't you? you? In the South, everything grows forever at 365. You know, even in the winter, don't get that cold to stop it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Indiana Jones, hey, spiders, you ain't a kidding, dude. Indiana Jones. Hi, Sharon. When, um, when, when I got that judge girl, I had never shot a gun before. Well, I'd shot a BB gun, but never shot a real gun. So can you see, I, I'm five, six, walking <laughs> around with this revolver that takes shotgun shells and shooting in recoil. It was not pretty. Um, first time I shot a gun, didn't put it against my shoulder enough and it come back and kicked me. Ow. Oh, I had a bruise this whole arm. Oh, it was so sore, dude. I'm not even kidding you. Mm. Did you have a Find third bruise? And they didn't even say it in the bedroom is that bad. <laughs> Losing a spider in your bedroom might as well burn the house down. How much money do you think Manitowoc saved by convicting Stephen Avery? Absolutely nothing. Thirty-two million dollars. Um, thirty-two no, thirty-five million. because it cost a million dollars. Thirty-five million because he was selling for thirty-six. But no, they yeah. cost them thirty. Uh, Millbilly put up the other day. It was three point five million that they oh, paid. That they well, spent. There you go. There you go. So, Only thing I can say is it's not going to. It's not going to save them anything pretty quick. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Um, it's going to. I'm really them. mad because twice I have gone on and emailed. If you go on Wicca, where they have his case and they say, you know, like we, that's where we found out about the AGG being um, withdrawing and everything. If you go on there, they have the date of response for 529. And I have messaged them. They say, if you have any questions about the site, I've messaged them twice saying, why is the date the 29th? I understand by one of the former attorneys, it should be 58. Do you think they've responded? Nope. Captain Crunch wants to know. First, se first, second, thirds of Mike Griesbach's book, which you've, I've, I don't I've think listened to part of it. I can't stomach all okay. of it. Oh, you can't stomach it. Yeah. Well, I've had it read to me. Anyway, book is very good. But evid eventually, Griesbach's true colors shine through. Yeah. And according to you, the one you read, he has filled lies. I mean, a lot well, of lies. Well, I mean, the first parts of it, he's, um, there's definitely discrepancies between, at least with ma'am, the incidents that Stephen was involved in prior to um, being arrested for um, Peggy Bernstein's. Those, the recount, the accounts of those are definitely different and he makes sure that he presses those in. Um, he's... <laughs> I find it hysterical, as I've said it several other times, that he is representing Andy uh, Colburn in his Netflix case. But yet the response from Netflix, most of the sightings and their exhibits they are using to get the case dropped are from Grisbach's book. So yeah. it's like. How much sense does that make to you? If they're using your attorney's book and your attorney's words to discredit this case, get a clue, people. Get a clue. Yeah. You, it's already in. I mean, he literally says in his book what he feels about what you guys did to Stephen the first time. Right. He's but then now. Look at him. Wrong. Now look at him. He's representing Andy Colburn. Yeah. I mean, talk about swing around, you know, first you're, you're on him about Andy Colburn's phone call and it was wrong and da, 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 da. And maybe it wasn't all about Andy, but he was the one that received the phone call. And it was about that, them knowing that they had the wrong man. And then all of a sudden, now you're going to represent him in a suit 
and listen, don't get me wrong. I might not like Andy Coburn. I might think he's very shady and I might think he has a lot to do with Steven, but I do not agree with any kind of threats to your family saying you're going to kill him. Any no. of that kind of stuff, it's way overboard. As far as I'm concerned, you're going way beyond what the state does. You you are a threat to society. You're doing that. You shouldn't be out here doing that. There's much better ways to get somebody's attention than there is to do that. Pick it in front of his house with Colborn found the key, Colborn seen the rav, whatever you want. I mean, but be peaceful about it. Do not ever threaten mm -hmm. somebody's life. It's just not, that is not the right way to do it. No. Certainly isn't. You look like a nutball and you need to go to jail yourself if you got them kind of thoughts. My opinion. Have you noticed, <laughs> the more I go back and rewatch, ma'am, you notice who is constantly walking them from the jail? Yep. It's Andy. Yep. I noticed that, you know, when you had me go so watch the other day. You're not, you're not any longer a correctional officer that is not in your job description you are a, a his job description commander. was shift commander. commander and yet you're the one purposely in my opinion grabbing on to the what oh gosh i'm drawing a blank because i'm so mad the the defendant and you are the one walking them in front of the cameras every single chance you get. And you're saying, or you previously said, I'm not a public figure. Well, you sure in the heck tried to make yourself one. You enforced yourself on being one. I mean, you interjected. <laughs> and you know, notice whenever he did that, he wasn't wearing his glasses. <laughs> did you notice that? He wasn't me, wearing Would you like, know it was me? No. And he's giving you that come hither look. Yeah. <laughs> the I mean, look. Like. Um, William Williams says, how can such incompetency in their investigation be ignored by so many law enforcement? Well, you know, that's that's a question in everybody's mind. I think I it's don't, I don't know my opinion. I don't think um I don't think it's just at the the cop level. I think it's up there in the AG level, at least. And they control a lot of what the governor sees, a lot of what, you know, is presented. So it, I think it goes up that far and probably starts from Peg Lottenschlager herself. I mean, come on, guys. You guys it voted this lady in in Wisconsin. And she, for her first year, her first year as the, uh, the governor, whatever she was, I mean, AG, whatever. I don't even know. I, I can't even do Attor Assistant she, attorney, well, the attorney general. Right, Attorney General. She took the staff car, went out and got looped up and got a drunk driving offense. That's really great for the state of Wisconsin. I want to know. Was on every corner. Huh? Was Sherry with her? Ah, uh, maybe. You know what? I don't think we even found out who her passenger was. She got in that report. I bet you she might. But maybe, of course. Or maybe they were out together beforehand. Could be. She was probably dropping her off and got picked up. You know, right. I mean, let's put it this way. They found no, nothing wrong there. Uh, In-house investigation, you know, um, nothing wrong there. Outsource your investigations. Nobody can look for corruption within their own walls and be biased. I mean, come on. We're all human. Let's be real here. If you worked in a, in a, you know, they have to stick together. They're dangerous jobs. They're, you know, there's with people, blah, 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 whatever it is. You can't investigate yourself. You have bias. You work with these people. You don't want to believe what you're going to see. You need somebody who don't give a shit and who's going to be honest, who doesn't know you personally and could give a crap less if you went out and drank or if you had a press conference, they want to know why you did these things and they want to make you accountable for those things. I volunteer. Me too. And I bet we could get a lot of people out here to do so too. I, I okay. Volunteer. Todd asks, oh, wait a minute. Um, let me, I don't want to miss too many people. Okay. That was, he mentions TH's keys twice when we all know there was only one key. Yes. Very true. Um, hey, Todd says, Todd, I I'm not good at names, Todd, so excuse me. I'll butcher them. So if, if I do, I'm very apologize. Nothing personal. But Todd says, the blood in Stephen's sink. 
Why didn't he run cold water on the cut and wash it down the drain instead of leaving it? We don't I have know. An he he I also have peed outside his door. Answer. I have an answer. Okay. <laughs> I have teenage boys. It is wipe it on your pant leg, bandage it up, and out the door. Yep. Just like you pee outside your door. Everybody was like, oh, my gosh, he peed outside his door. You live in the country. A lot of guys do it. Oh, my gosh. My grandson, my, my son, my grandson was born here in South Carolina. And in public, it's hard to get it at one time. It was hard to get him not to whip his pants down outside and pee because that's what they do. It's always, pretty much always warm here. And, you know, if you only got one bathroom in the house, you're out there and you're you're letting it go. You do it. I mean, I wish I could whip it out sometimes so I didn't have to go to, you know, find it and hold it and all that. Um, Hi, Sharon Sunshine Lee. says, hey, Linda, it should not be personal. Families are off limits. 100 percent, Sharon. Absolutely. And, that is right. one of my, let's talk about that because that's one of mine and I know it's one of your pet peeves, too. Um, I know that there are I mean, I have no problem with somebody having a a theory or suspicions about right. a family member. Right. What I Any family of victims. Right. Because there's questions. We have questions. Right. There are things that have not been answered. And I understand that. Right. But that's not going to free these guys. Right. Um, whatever, you know, if you think, you know, Earl said something bad or Barb did something wrong or Scott did this. Focusing on what they did or didn't do. A personal thing. Is, is not going to release them. Okay. Right. It's not going to release the boys. The only thing that's going to release the boys is finding the evidence that points towards somebody else or right. being able the killer. to prove without a shadow of a doubt that law enforcement did that. Yep. Somebody's going to have to flip. Somebody's yep. going to have to flip and say, yes, they did it. And I'm turning state's evidence. Slip or flip, like Eric Cozy says, slip or flip, you know, and that's true. But, but getting a hold of a family member and focusing all your energy and your. Or theories that just have been, I'm sorry, debunked. Like I said, ground. Well, in the ground. Yeah. Even, I mean, there are people that I talk to that have looked at things that I'm just new and they've like, I let me tell you, I have ripped that up. I have J Jax, we've had the conversation. You and I and J Jax have had that conversation about a family member that the, that he was adamant he thought there was something there. But then he realized that's not helping Brendan. That's not helping Steven. And if you're focused on that, you're missing so much that's on the yeah. Yeah. Like, why haven't they tested the blood and blood on the rock in the quarry? You know, I mean, why yeah. haven't these fingerprints been gone through SCOTUS again? Why hasn't them things been done? Well, I think I know why. I think because Catherine has to, uh, Kathleen has to get them, you know what I mean, in order to do so, which is an evidentiary hearing. And I think it all falls on that. Hi, Mill Billy. Thanks for joining. I'm sorry Hi. if I missed you. Um, why oh, okay. is Tim Orlinsky and da and Wendy Baldwin interviewing Andre Martinez? And why is it unobtainable for us to get that report? What's in there? Yeah. Why do they have Jody's what calls not there? being able to get? Why can't you get Jody's calls? I, yes, what did she I do? All of Jody's calls from the time she went in in June until March of 2006. And I've now been told, oh, I'm sorry, you can't have those because... She had a connection with someone who faces an appeal. So we think it's in the best interest not to release those due to that appeal. But Jody was never in Stephen's case and Jody never testified against Stephen. She was a witness in Brendan's case. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I mean, there's a there's lot so of things that they're doing. I just don't, I, I, you know what? I understand, but I don't want to see somebody. And that's just my personal opinion. I'm putting it out there so people know that's how I feel. I don't want to see somebody latch on to one thing like a dog with a bone. And it it, it just, it turns me off. Yeah. It turns me off. Especially when it's just a personal dig. Or it's, you know, if you've been asked by the family to not do something, I'm sorry. I respect that. I'm sorry that, you know, that comes across sometimes to, as being close-minded. I don't think so. I think I've looked into it. The family said to do something. I'm not going to do it. I am respectful that way. And I don't discourage anybody from doing it. 
help yourself. I believe that everybody's theories, everybody's speculations yeah. all come together. They're all great. I've heard so many good things that I'm like, wow, I never even ever thought about it that way. You know, it's like, wow, you know, and everybody digs it. Like I always am saying, everybody digs a certain spot or, or you know, they don't see everything. I mean, if I was to read every freaking document that ever came across my view, I would never be able to do anything in life. It is just too crazy. You know, I mean, there's so much information and that's why I am, like I said, I'm plugging for a marathon again for me. I have the greatest. I really do. I have researchers that have been in the game since get go day one, starting to get a transcript. You know what I mean? I, I have am people that so start excited to see some of the ones you have. And then I have some that have um, brand new like you. And I have some that have, I told um, you, I am. I'm telling. I'm telling Ripper. I am. I'm. I'm graciously bowing out to. No, you're not, because <laughs> Ripper liked what you did, and that's what the surprise was. And you know, I wanted to show him that you were Pam a God in the in our one of our things because he absolutely ooh Pam a God and him don't get along, you know. So anyway, I want to get back to some questions here. We could rattle forever, but there were some really good questions. Um, you see, oh, um, cat. Gamer girl, she'll volunteer for Jamie. <laughs> yep. To, you know, check those people out. Question. What is your feelings about Ken Kraft? This comes from Shane Careless. Okay. W what is your feelings about Ken Kratz and the courts allowing a, a photocopy photo into court as evidence when the DA admitted they had original photo to it? Okay. And he's, he's talking about specifically 05 CF. 381 exhibit five. No, I couldn't tell you what that is, but. Okay. My, I'm just going to go with the, the info he did give. Hell no. Mm -hmm. If it were on the opposite foot, there is no way in hell that they would allow the defense to provide them with a photo of a photo or a copy of a photo that wouldn't fly. There is no. too much, there is too much, um, wide open area for photoshopping or for um all yeah too much for for you know tampering yeah. yes you need a time stamp stamp you need the original stuff i mean okay that's like saying okay well that blood in the rab wasn't good so steven can you give me some of your blood so i can go test it <laughs> you know <Right>. I mean? <laughs> that is, no if you don't have the original then you don't have your evidence I agree. I 100% agree. Hi, Mill Billy. Everybody's saying hi to Mill Billy. And it's really uh -huh. nice to have you here, Mill Billy. I love you to death. Question T1 has a question. It says, why did LA wait five months to swab the hood lanch if they knew someone <laughs> went under the hood? We were having this conversation actually in Discord. And if y'all haven't joined Discord, if you're new to the channel, the link's we'd love in there. to invite you. Linda's got the link down below. Come over there and, and you know, get our brains thinking. I know one of the things that Linda loves about me is that I, I'm i a little, I, I see little details and I grab them and she's like, I never thought of that like that. And I would love yeah. for a few people to bring that in and do that with me as well. Um, but I personally think they did not have any fingerprints to prove of Stephen touching anything. Right. There were no fingerprints. So they right. couldn't just put DNA anywhere. And they knew that that battery was not the battery that went in that vehicle. So if Stephen didn't do it, how are they going to get a, a, a tail or a story to go along with how that Crown Victorian battery got in there? Um, they needed Brendan to say, hey, you know, what it, did, did he do anything under the hood? Because they saw the battery and, and they had to get a story to cover their own asses. That's what I'm going to say, asses. They needed to cover their asses because they knew that that battery was an issue for a police car. And so they did what they had to do to get Brendan to say Stephen was under the hood. If they could have gotten him to say that, that he, I think what they really wanted was they wanted him to say that he messed with the battery so that they could put the DNA on the battery and make that battery Stevens. I think that's what they wanted to do. 
I've lost your sound. You're on mute, girl. Duh. There's I do it all I the time. I think that's what they wanted. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, I honestly do too, because why wasn't there any DNA or why didn't they test the hood release? Okay. From inside the car. All right. Or the cables themselves. I mean, you know, they just had specific places for specific Stephen Avery DNA. Just well, Stephen. Yeah. Yeah, Stevens, except for that magic wooden bullet. And we know she wasn't Pinocchio. So get another one, guys. Shoot like KZ did right through that wood because that's where that bullet came from. Don't believe for one second that it touched Teresa at all, except for Sherry and her little cotton swab going, whoop, whoop. That's but what I think. They couldn't get Brendan to say the battery because Brendan wasn't looking under the hood and he didn't even know what it looked like. Brendan was so, never even in the car. Right. <laughs> but right. the way they say it, scenario. Yeah. yeah. So I agree. They want if they could have gotten him to say that he messed with the battery, that's yep. where the DNA would have ended up. Yeah, exactly. I totally agree with you. I mean, one hundred percent. It is. Oh, they you know, did. Like, they did test the battery cables, and there was no DNA. Yeah. Well, how is that possible but if I you're did, taking them off? When did they test those oh, cables? Magical gloves. They those cables <laughs> when they tested the hood latch. Or was no, it from before what, the hood latch? Be, I want to be really, I think one of the people who, who I mean, swabbed it, I think it was a guy that did it, didn't wear no gloves. I mean, admitted to not wearing gloves or something when he touched it or something. No, wouldn't he didn't DNA be on there? Gloves. Oh, he didn't change. Well, wouldn't there be somebody else's DNA on there then? I mean, come on. It, it could, I mean, yes, it could happen. Let's or 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 Stephen's magical fingers that have no fingerprints on it, but yet they bleed. You know, I mean, come on, let's get real. Well, William, the, William. Oh, the um the thing with with that battery and and the hood latch, you know, it's like I said to T one. I said you can't, you know, you can't waste a good groin swab or a good buckle swab. You know, you you yeah. got to make yeah. sure where you're going to put it because once you lost it, That's I don't right. think Stephen's going to allow you to come and take another one. Once you're relabeled, you're in trouble, aren't you? Well, how are you going to explain that if you have to do another one? Exactly. Well, that's why the bullet had no more. They washed it completely. I mean, I like do, you want this? do you want that back? <laughs> I thought, man, I'm getting drunk fast. Woo! <laughs> Woo! 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 <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Anyway, just a little mind trip for oh, everybody. I got another but, question. Yep. William Williams says... When you look at the Avery lot, the RAV was so fakely covered with branches where from the Avery lot is there trees and brushes around or were there brush, brushes bought to cover the RAV? No, there's there was brushes. There was a little pond. You know, they had they had little, um, what do you call them, seedling kind of trees, not, you know, there's enough, there was enough for them to gather around from there. And was there from what I could see. up there on the Burham as well? And wasn't Earl, don't want to say anything, but wasn't he pulling little um, trees? So they might have had a pile that they seen somewhere over there in the back and went from there and took that. And Pam says, I feel that if someone cold calls people related to the case is just flat rude and disrespectful it should never be done period i have i have to say with pam i have to agree there um it's different if we were to reach out to someone who was in business say you know jerry Buting or you know stephen the Glenn. photographer right. auto trader <laughs> but still personally um it's, Welcome, Patrick. it's different when you have if you've reached out to them by email and they say, Hey, yeah, it's okay. I, I'd be willing to talk to you. That's one thing, but just to pick up yeah. the phone and call somebody, that's a real invasion of their personal, in my opinion, their personal space and their personal life. I mean, right. at least if you send me an email, I don't have to respond to you. I can like block it. Ignore it. Totally. I, have, I don't have a choice. Yeah. Like if I get hit me up on, on Twitter. <laughs> I don't I mean, answer those calls to you. <laughs> I, I mean, that, I mean, think about it, though, that, lost your sound. that is getting kind of close to home because that's calling somebody's home and, and trying, 
you're not even giving them the There's a line other than to hate hang up to you. I mean, that would make me very uncomfortable. That would be like yeah, my There's a line. There's a line. Me, I don't know. Yeah. Ooh. Hi, Daisy Land. So T1 Lady, had a I mean, Daisy Daisy. question. Did you see that? Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to get back up there where it was because they move it fast. Okay. T1, where are you? These go down Let's way down. too easy, everybody. These are like. They wow. do. They do. T1, well, T1, I'll get to you in one second because I have a few more questions to answer before that. Lab tech, don't change gloves before touching hood latch. That's exactly what I was saying. Playing hide and seek. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he did change gloves. Strand brought that up in trial. Strain brought that up in trial. Okay. Now, T1's follow-up question. Uyghur admits on camera they knew somebody went under the hood. Yet zero swabs, zero evidence at that point. How is that not coercion? They're allowed. Sorry, they're allowed to lie. They're allowed to say that your blood is somewhere, that there's a body in your house, that they seen you or somebody told them. They're allowed to do that. Simple they're as allowed that. to tell you that their DNA is in that vehicle even when, right. you, when it isn't. Even when they haven't found it yet. And I think really need to have <laughs> why is your blood in your trailer when there we was really, no really need to invite Travis on here because I need to get all my frustrations out. <laughs> I, I, well, I, I think Travis would look at my tongue's orange. Mine's red. <laughs> I think <laughs> Travis would take it very well. Um, I'm sure he's dealt with plenty of irate, you know, insane women before um, in one way or another, but I think mm -hmm. he would take it really well. I, I just want to ask him all my questions all at once. And then I will like go ballistic and, and okay. Cry. We'll invite him to our next trash talk and we'll get him on here. Question oh, and answer. I'll there throw my fit and then I'll be all done for a week or two. Yeah, you can invite him. All right. You, you know how to do it. And then Travis, if you, if you come on and watch this before I message you, <laughs> can't say no. You okay, can't you say can, no. I'm begging you not to. Right. There's Millbilly's channel. Everybody subscribe. Millbilly's yeah, going to be at Mammothon. Watch Millbilly's stuff. I love if, watching my Billy. If he hadn't put out them calls, I would not have a lot of questions. No Billy's on a break. All right. You know what? We'll give you 48 hours. I think that's <laughs> Yeah. He's he's listening to some more calls from what I know. I'm not quite oh. sure, but I love he's put so many things in place for me. It is it's crazy. Okay. And okay. William Williams says, Oh my God, girls, I'm still watching that video you made with the toothbrushes and the swab bags. <laughs> I literally, it's hilarious. Thank you very much. Um, he, oh, no, Billy said he's taking a break from researching for a while. Well, not too long, please. I don't. said he's got 48 hours. That's right. It. And, um, T ones, he's yelling at me. So Uyghur was just making a lucky bluff and exactly where SA DNA would be found, huh? No, he knew, but he brought it out in his own way through Brendan. Well, I think like the I cut said, to the knee, a soda pop. Lucky, he's saying Uyghur was making a lucky a bluff. Um, no, I think that they, they had knew. already opened that hood and it was and they knew that the battery was wrong and their ultimate goal was to get that battery being switched out to connect it to Steven. But unfortunately they couldn't right. get Brendan to say that. So they went with the hood latch. I believe honestly, they knew beforehand, just like they knew beforehand where the bullet was. You know, they may have not have been as lucky, as, you know, they may have taken that swab after they went over the hood latch right. and tried to go on the cables and it didn't have enough DNA. I, I, like all their DNA, they knew where it was placed. They knew how it got there, just like the bullet. They were. How do you find a bullet in a garage that's been emptied out, luminaled, um, then then has cement dust everywhere, and then this teeny little bullet just shows up after the garage has been completely cleaned out because they got film of it. I mean, come on. I mean, I might have been born a long time ago, but my brain cells haven't died, okay? I'm not, you know, I might not be the brightest bulb, but I still shine. How's that one for you? <laughs> they, they were, um, that's the one thing that I find hysterical in this whole thing, especially with Ken Kratz. We weren't looking for prints. They weren't looking for prints. I don't have the file in front of me. What is the first thing that in a crime they generally look for? Is prints. 
any kind of evidence, blood evidence, fingerprints. They don't allow anybody on the scene. You're doing, listen, just like we were talking on Powder Pup, they do victimology on most things, especially a missing person, because that helps them connect where they might be. You know, you connect with everybody that was in her life. You find out what her routine was. You find out who she spoke with more, who she was having trouble with. I mean, that's a normal investigation of a missing person. Okay. But this was not normal. None of this investigation was held in any way to a book that they were taught in school. They don't even know their freaking job description, which I'm sure the first three lines are dates accuracy and people accuracy and report accuracy. And there's so, look, my typing is bad as MTSO's reporting. That is really bad. Okay. They're just not good. You know what I really wanted? And that's probably, this always sticks in my head. Remember when um, Factbender was on the stand and I believe Jerry was, was questioning him and I think it was him. And then Ken Kratz asked him, he says, do you know how many pieces of evidence we gathered in this case? And Factbender goes, well, I don't know the exact number. And he goes, 900 and some odd, blah, blah, blah. I so wanted to jump. I mean, I wish I would have been in there because I probably would have jumped up and said, how many are you using in this case? Yeah. He, that man, I mean, the number one thing when he meets, when he was sexting, he probably must have increased the size of his junk because <laughs> that he likes to inflate his his words and his testimony. Mm. I'm sure he's inflated that a couple of times too. Well, look at his head. He can barely fit through a door. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, Jack says a guilter called a witness. There you go. Pop in your head in and out of a rabbit hole. Got that one right for sure. Okay. Let me but see. There's, there's also been uh, truthers that have contacted people in regards to this case, Jack too. And that, that to me, um, you <laughs> get five or you get four or five of those orange things going, and you'll be mellowed out. <laughs> you said that, Jax. Um, okay, your brother and sister I'm fighting. Good. These two are like brother and sister. Oh, I'm feeling pretty. It, it's good. hilarious. I love just, it. I'm Crockett feeling- says, "Not testing the hood latch was has nothing to do with anything other than why not." No, Billy. Oh, I'm, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. Why? Read what Mel Billy just wrote. I, I'm, I'm way up here. Okay. Wait till you hear what I found. You know, Mel Billy, I mean, you've talked to me a few times. I've asked you questions. I am not a patient person. Well, you know, Mel Billy, you know that you've already got my curiosity. On I'm, I'm, I'm not a patient person. I kind of heard a little bit about it. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm not sure. beyond tracking your phone number down and stalking you. I'm, <laughs> I'm not beyond doing that. Crockett, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Crockett, <laughs> why had to search everyone? Um, <clears throat> prints are done after swabs taken. Mm, okay, that makes sense to me because you want to get the DNA. Yes, but they didn't but even. Still, look- they're still gonna dust everything, what? and you know. Well, then, gonna, you know what? If you're if you're a seasoned, active leader, you're a seasoned one. district investigator. Attorney. District attorney. No. Oh. And you don't know about prints on your number one piece of evidence? See, that's my biggest problem with Kratz is he is the one that had the, the yes or he had the yes or no. You know, he had the yes or no. Okay. Yes, this is a good case. I'm gonna win it by evidence, or no. Um, this is a you case that, be part of his phone number. <laughs> Oh, God. No, I got to give it. Damn. Fingerprints, blood evidence, gun residue. They take photos if they need to have samples. They do so. Exactly. And you know something else? The photos. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many people really feel that a bobcat should be doing excavation for bones. But anything, and I don't care. I'm not talking dinosaur bones. But when I've seen investigations on bones, they're down on their hands and knees. They got little hand tools. And they're doing it that way. 
you know, even <laughs> if they dig up something, they still, you know, they might dig like something out, but they're, you know, cause it's been buried, but you don't dig a, a you know, a bobcat and flush it out. And then, Oh, let me go pick that out. If you ran over it, I'm going to go up and pick it up. That's what I've seen. I think that's ridiculous. I don't even know. I mean, I wish that guy that was in court that said, um, it was obviously tampered with, so I didn't make a grid. And, yeah. You know, I'm terrible with names, but you know who I'm talking yeah. about. I wish he would have elaborated a lot more because that was really the only honest, only uh, honest person that mm -hmm. outside of Brendan standing there, sitting on his own stand, telling his story that are the, them are the only two honest things that I have seen in that documentary done by a professional and Brendan, you know, he said his words and the professional said, I wouldn't touch that. You know what I'm saying? That's just not correct. You know, and, and wasn't it somebody who was retired who came in and found the damn bones anyway? I mean, that's kind of crazy stuff. Um, got 11 seconds. You know what? Millbilly is just like toying with my emotions concentrate we have other people here you can talk to him really when you're done he's just trying to get you and i know he knows i'm curious he knows i'm waiting so cuss road he's brought that up and he's saying he's taking he's the first person who really pushed 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 for cuss road and you know what mill billy i honestly 100 believe there was so much more going on in cuss road than there, what we'll ever be able to find out um unfortunately i really I think there's a lot we'll never be able to find out because there wasn't a proper investigation. So you can't go back and, you know, it's just like reversing it. Can you go back 20 years or whatever it is now, 14 years and find out maybe, but I highly doubt it unless somebody speaks up, you know, I read somewhere that this is from, um, um, Metzer corner <laughs> says, I read somewhere that in some States, we are limited to the amount of testing you are allowed to do because of budgets. Not in this case. They flung so much money into it. You know what? I don't think there's a limit. I think it's a limit on what your client can afford because obviously Stephen wasn't able to afford any more experts, they say. And the state has free reign. They can, who cares, you know? So it costs us a million and a half to get rid of them, you know? You guys will see. Your karma, I believe in her so much. She's so around. It's like puzzles. Yes, it is. It is. MT, MTCS audio is a puzzle. And queso is a key to, to, the, to crack it. I agree, Mel Billy. That's really a very good statement, actually. Okay. I never used a bobcat to investigate, but I've <laughs> investigated a few cougars. <laughs> Okay there, T1. And now that you're single, look out. <laughs> wow. 3.5 3 million to convict Avery. Well, to convict him, Millbilly says. Yeah. That's a lot. Cheaper to bury the truth than face it. True. And you know what? I think they're getting nervous. I mean, come on, look at what's going on in the government part of it. You know, the, you know, that lady leaving Lisa Winters. And hi, Gloria. Thanks for joining. And, yeah. And, you know, um, the sabbatical and the butt call and, you know, all that stuff kind of just falls into place to try to, like, give them little hints. Let's just put it this way. We want Casey in that courtroom tearing them guys apart. You know, you know who Fallon reminds me of? Okay. Ooh. I'm not a huge. All right. Don't no messages or anything about Star Wars because I'm, I'm I don't hate Star Wars. I'm just not a. I'm that, not really neither. I am your father. But the <laughs> Emperor, that's what that Fallon remind that the that's who Fallon reminds me of. The Emperor. He's old, he's wrinkly, he has a really disgusting voice. Um I really I mean at your own apparel person, I could reach down their throats and bring their testicles up through them, it would be him. I think he is he to Brendan, he was the most uncompassionate condescending rude sob i have ever seen i mean out of a bitch you know, mean Pratt's wasn't great, <laughs> was great but fallon was the worst to a 16 year old boy oh yeah and where mr dassey 
did you read such a book? Sir. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, and he kept making him seem like he was an older person by saying, sir, sir, sir. You say young man to a guy that's under 18 years old or son or something like that, you know, but you don't say, sir. Okay, I just well, as I said, and the you're the one that pointed that out, and it is so true. It is. I believe that that was the mind thing for the jury to catch on to to yeah. think of him as older person. Let the, the butt he, hurt sat flow. There. he sat there, and you know, Brendan had already answered the question several times. He kept saying, <laughs> "So you're not telling the truth. You're you're telling the truth now. You're you 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 made it up. You made." It's like after you asked him the third time and he's told you that he may if he made it up and he's told you yes, then you start becoming badgering the witness. And somebody should have jumped up yeah. on the defense and said he is badgering the witness. The witness has already answered this question. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't understand why he agreed to stop playing the tape right before his mother and him talk. That, that was killed that, me. That was so against Brandon. Yeah. That was his only yeah. chance. What made that lawyer? who really looked like he was doing a good, uh, you know, until that part. And then it was like, you're just as fucking bad as the rest. Get the fuck up out of here. You know, that's how I felt. Sorry, people. I mean, I don't mean to offend, but really that is how I felt. I and when it comes I to Brandon, I, I, there's no hold bars. My heart breaks for that young man. I would, have totally. objected, I would have objected to them taking that phone call from 315 and putting it in there because they were using the confession for tape from three one, I would have objected and I would have asked the judge to throw that out because that was based on the confession from three one that meow meow decided he was going to help O'Reilly put the screws to Brendan oh, Kelly. Oh, oh Kelly, whatever. I don't. Oh, I Kelly. can't. Who's Kelly. <laughs> we'll get it right, Kelly. <laughs> Um, he is an ale. <laughs> yes. But that should have never been allowed in because that was connected to that whole scenario that Meow Meow and O'Kelly set up. That really? pissed me off. Millbilly says, how much of that $240,000 did they pocket? Probably not much. I, I don't know. You know, I don't know because I don't think that's a lot to, to represent somebody. Um, in the case that Stephen had, I mean, he really needs to, he needed to get what Kathleen has now, but well, unfortunately yeah, back then yeah, it really I'm wasn't even it, here. And I'm trying to fix my hair and I've got it. It's the wrong way. There you go. It looks backwards. <laughs> it's, I hate that. It's like looking in a mirror. It's backward. It's weird. Yeah. I mean, a mirror is easier. I should say. Right. Fox should have thrown all that shit out. Yes. Jay yeah. There should, it should have been, oh, listen, when Brendan asked for a new lawyer, um, because he thought that um, Meow Meow wasn't, do, thought he was guilty, when do you ever hear of a judge saying, I'm sorry, I don't find that relevant at this point. No, no um, right. You know, you don't know. Listen, fuck that. It's my fucking right to have a uh, attorney of my choice. Screw the, you know. That was not right, not right at all. And none, you're right, Jax, none of them lawyers were for Brendan. And I would like to string them up all one by one and have every single one of us go by with yes. a little willow yes. stick and whip his ass. We thought we thought that Pam of God was a bad actress and, and T1 has brought it up. The, I'm sorry, I'm still thinking about those blue ribbons. Oh, the blue ribbons. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 sorry. Listen, ew, he sorry. just makes my skin crawl. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, yeah. I yeah. Your question now. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. The 250000 is one twentieth of the state cost. Yeah. No kidding. When, okay, Daisy, Daisy Land, when KZ finally gets a hearing, it's going to last a month. So they should have it at an Alpine Valley music amplifier in East Troy, Wisconsin, so we cannot camp out. Well, I got to tell you hey, guys. You know what? That's, I'm just, I had this idea, <laughs> and that would go perfect there. I'm thinking Discord, foul play, carry. <clears throat> what do you think, Linda? <laughs> I'm joking. Foul play, Discord, karaoke. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, 
Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, KZ goes to court in Wisconsin. I'm going to be there. I will be there. I will be, at, if I can't be in the courtroom, I will be like this at the courtroom doors. I will be getting firsthand. I am going to be there. I'm not far away. You know what that means, there. right? Huh? You know what that means, right? What? I have to go with bail money. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make a thing of it. I'll tell you what. I got a place for us to stay and everything. Don't even worry. <laughs> It'll be good. Um, um, Do they serve alcohol? Order? Huh? Do they serve alcohol? Oh, yeah. This is Wisconsin. Hey, listen, well, right there, here's, the courthouse. here's the I'm courthouse. Here's the courthouse. I have my North. own. You know, I you know I have a Harley. That's where I used to ride. I lived in Illinois, so. Yep. That's right. All right. Mitzer says, I only heard recently that a false alibi has given was given by the state for Allen, meaning Gregory Allen, during the 18 or 1985 yeah. investigation. Lightning strikes twice with Kratz. And the false RH alibi. Yep. Yeah. You know, I was pretty shocked when I found out that um, Kratz is the one that gave oh, away. He wasn't alibi. even living in, in the area. He lived in Milwaukee with his girlfriend and he was working up there. Ryan had just graduated, had not passed the boards yet, was living with mommy and daddy. Hi, Crockett. Girlfriend. Yeah, I hear you. Gloria says they probably have cheese curds. Too. Exactly. Yes, they do. They have cheese curds. They have um, um, pickled eggs. Loaded Bloody Mary. Oh yeah. Yes, with like I mean, those yes. chickens and them them sliders. Yeah. Oh, rent us a house. We'll have a party. <laughs> I tell you what, I would be loving it. Um, be careful when you turn up the turn up. They might already have evidence to arrest and convict you. Of a that is possible. I have been in Wisconsin quite a few times. Yes. I live right next door. We go over there to get our alcohol and since I was growing up and um, Never we've, go always, home there, though. we've always been taught to bring enough money to pay our fine or whatever. Cause it's a pay or stay state. That means if you don't have the money, you stay or you pay and you can go. That's how they are. So I've learned that a long time ago. I don't think I'm bringing you my don't have to be lonely at, Ma'am, matchmakers. Jack, I'm not buying you. I'm taking bail money for her. Jack, I have some bail money for her. trolls in here. So my mods are taking care of them. It's very nice that you think that run one strand's great looking, but let's not be nasty, okay? So. Well, I didn't see anything. I'm, no, because my mods, my mods are on it. Troll us to death because my mods will knock you right up the bunch. Really, you don't get seen, don't get paid attention to here. So okay, so Jax is saying for me to bring to to bring bail money. Okay, I'm bringing bail money for you, and he's going to stay <laughs> over. Bail money, yes. So he's going to have to bring bail money for me. Yeah. Well, you know what? Team right, one, I have to give Mill Billy's number. Hey, Mill Billy, there we go. I need he your can. number because I'm going to need bail. Yeah. You need bail money. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, he had to say that. That's okay, T1. Why don't you start up the man maker matchmaker group here now that you're single? There's a bunch of single people here. We can all get together. You know, you have something in common. Murder, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> the state of Wisconsin, oh boy, that jumped. The state of Wisconsin sees the public defender's office as a constitutional technicality. technicality. They have been paying outside counsel $40 an hour, including their own overhead expenses, for decades. Really? I didn't know that. Hmm. Interesting. We could do a man dating game. Sure. It could happen. Yes. On the channel. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, I'm up for suggestions. It doesn't matter. I'm, you know, everybody knows me. Like it's man, all about the supporter. And you like a man support. dating game. I mean, sure. remember that we, but wait a minute. Yeah. Wasn't Ted Bundy on the dating game? No, but there was, what? there was the dating game. Um, Ted Bundy. It was on the Ted dating Bundy. game. I know it wasn't Ted Bundy. I don't remember the guy's name, but was, it was who was it? Jay Jax? Was it Ted Bundy who was on the, or was it the um, Zodiac Killer? No, neither one of them. It was some. One of them was on the dating game, and he he was. He I remember was? That. Ted I remember Bundy that. was. Oh, Rodney Acusa uh, or whatever. I can't say that Bundy. He was. I didn't know Bundy was. was so really. Okay. I know my I serial killers. I'm wrong. For real. I didn't know that. That's I know wonderful. My serial killers. I know my serial killers. Isn't that a good thing to say? Yeah, you know what? I used to know my serial killers. And then I figured out, well, you know, there's too many 
people up here that think weird things. So I can't do that or I'll never go outside in the world. I'm just. The yeah. <laughs> question <laughs> was BD on any medication. That's a good question, T1. That is a good question. I don't know that we have any medical records. We would probably have to dig through um, the evaluations, which I haven't done yet. Um, the evaluation. Oh, he wasn't. Done. Bobby, you mean um, Brendan Dassey? Yeah. No. He wasn't on any kind of. He wasn't on anything. Was he? Do you know if he was? If he was? He wasn't on Ritalin or nothing. Do you know if he was suggested any to be prescribed, and they chose not to? That I don't know, but I do know he had a, a, a somebody who sat directly next to him, an adult, a tutor, who had to explain every single thing that went on in the classroom. He, had, he had an IEP. He had an IEP. He, had an IEP. he did, you know, he did have tutoring that was with him the whole time he was in school. But I don't know about no medications. I don't believe there's any been, anything ever been said about that. But, you know, that's a good question, and we could research that out and find out. JJX, I learn everything from my murder friends. Yeah. Our murder friends. Yeah, exactly. Murder friends. Except murder friends. I have not learned all the bad words and I'm still doing well. Right. But guess what? It's been an hour. See how it flies? Let me oh tell you. God. I got a guest tomorrow. You know, Linda. she gets everybody. And Sean, you know, I am. Um, I get all these people that say, I'm never going to go on a YouTube channel. I'm never going to get on a YouTube channel. I get you. Eventually, I get you. And yes, Sean, you're, you're going to be there. Uh, man, man's going to be there. I'm going yeah. to get you, get, get you, get you. Get you, get you. But tomorrow, I have a guest. And she is very well known. I'm just going to leave it at that. We're not going to say who she is. Oh, you're no fun. You got to tell uh, her. You got to hang on to something. Then got to make people want to come back. You know what? You know? People want to know. Well, they'll know tomorrow. <laughs> at 10 o'clock in the morning. It was supposed to be later at night, but this person is, of course, out of the country. So we will be doing it in the morning. I hope you can join me. If not, thank heaven for a rewatch, watch, and YouTube because is it, is it, I don't make it, them. I watch them. Is it Jerome? You can guess. I'm not going to tell you. It doesn't matter. Is it? <laughs> is it? Keep on guessing, sweetie. But you guys, um, we will try to see if Travis will be. Um, you're going to ask Travis, correct? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. <laughs> I love working with you. You're just great. <laughs> you have a smile for sure. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure that you join. Um, yeah, I got, I, got it I look dirty. Join us in Discord at, on the Fall Play channel, the Fall Play channel. And the Fall Play website, wonderful, it really is. Check out Millbilly. Check out everybody that's on here. Thank you so much. Oh Kat, my Nick, God, Jay, Jax. you're hilarious. Thank Did you see that? T1 what? said, if you want to meet either one of these two ladies. Uh, one 800 oh. Ella. <laughs> Very good one. Love it. I love T1. He's always an added. I do too. I miss for him. Sure. I have Thank you, Kat, Kat Nick, for putting up links. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And um, I'll say till next time. Bye. Bye, guys.